proudly sponsored by Hingyo Truck and Trailer Spares and Hydraulic Whip. Good day everyone, my name is Vernig and today I want to talk to you about a very, very important subject, especially in the Christian faith these days, and that is the subject of fear. Now, many of you know Zach Williams, a very famous uh, gospel singer, has the song called Fear is a Liar. And that's the one thing I want to start off with in today's video is that fear is a liar. Now, I know many, many Christians are aware of the fact that the Bible specifically teaches us that we as Christians are supposed to be strong against fear. We are not supposed to have anxieties. We are supposed to be above fear. We are supposed to be above that which we are worrying about. But we as humans have a, a natural response to many things in life and that unfortunately results in stress and that results in fear and that results in anxiety. But one thing we as humans and especially as Christians do have control of is the fact that we when we are in situations where we are supposed to be stressed or we're supposed to be afraid it's a one-off thing um, god gave us the emotion of fear god gave us the emotion of to respond to fear but as soon as that fear becomes anxiety as soon as it becomes excessive worrying that is when we are in a trouble situation now the reason i'm speaking about the subject today is because i've personally experienced fear in its most craziest forms in its most irrational forms and today i want to encourage you that in, if you are indeed struggling with the subject of fear and, in, and if it's a if it's a problem in your life i want to encourage you today that the only way that you will receive uh, peace the only way you will receive love in the in the way that you want to enjoy it the most that free form of love is when you get rid of anxiety and fear and the only way for you to do that is to lay it at the feet of the law of Jesus Christ and accept that he will relinquish it from you but it's not just laying it at his feet it's not just getting rid of it bye 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 putting it down and, and acting like it's gone now there's unfortunately work that has to be put in there is unfortunately effort from your side that needs to be put in for you to be free from fear and anxiety now I want, to, I want to read scripture to you and I've got about three verses that I want to read that specifically touches this subject and specifically touches this message. Now the first one that a lot of us know about, but I want you to really listen to it now and let it, let it really sink in, is the following, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 which says, For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. The, now the, what the scripture tells us is that God did not give us a spirit of fear but of power and love and self-control. Which means that when you're in a situation of fear, of anxiety, of stress, you are supposed to respond with it, to it in love, in self-control, and you have the power over it. That is exactly what the verse says. You don't have a spirit of fear, but you have a spirit of power, love, and self-control. And the thing I touched on just now comes in 1 Peter 5 or 7, which says, Cast all your anxieties on Him because He cares for you. God does care about your well-being. Does, God does care about your mental state. And He does not have a will for you to be anxious, stressed, or feared, or, fe or, or being in fear. That is not what God wants at all. But now I want to tell you that the only way you can get rid of it, number one, and this is the most powerful tool because I've experienced it myself, is you need to go into a lifestyle of worship. You need to go into a lifestyle of prayer. You need to seek God earnestly with all your free time, with all your might. And I want to say, use more of your free time in worship, giving praise to God and giving thanks for who He is. More than you even spend time in prayer, more than you even spend time in the Word. Because that is where the true the de deliverance lies. And that is in worship, giving thanks to God, giving praise to God with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your strength. And I will guarantee you, if you do it with everything you have, you will, I want to say within a week, already start to see the results of being free from fear and anxiety. And then the other thing I, that I touched on is prayer. Earnestly see God in your, in your, in your uh, 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 prayer time. Seek Him earnestly when you're reading scripture. Pray towards God, ask Him to set you free, remove these things. 
Uh, confess that you struggle with fear. Ask for forgiveness towards God that you're struggling with fear. Because it is a sin. It is not of God. And if it's not of God, it has to be of this world. It is a sin to be over anxious. Confess it towards God and put the effort in. And then I want to read one, one last scripture to, for you. Which also touch, touches this subject. And it is Psalm 37 verse 5 which says, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will act. If you really put the effort in time and if you really see God, if you really worship with all your heart, and I mean really putting the effort, not just five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening, I'm talking about at least, at least one hour of your day you're spending in prayer and in worship. God will act and you can trust Him for that deliverance. And I want to pray with you now, I want to pray for you now. If this is you behind the screen now, and you're really struggling with fear and you're really struggling with anxiety. I want to pray for you now and I want you to trust that God will deliver you. And I want you to trust with all your heart because Psalm, 30, Psalm 37 verse 5 says that if you trust, He will act. Let me pray for you now. Lord, I want to come now and I want to pray for this person that's watching this video now that is struggling with fear, that is struggling with anxiety, that is struggling with stress. Lord, I want you to come and I ask that you, that you just close this person up in your peace, Lord. That you close this person up in your love like a blanket lord you come now and you just like wrap them tight and you just like tell them it's going to be all right it's fine you are here lord and i pray with all my heart that this person watching this video will give and dedicate themselves and and give all their time in worship lord in seeking your face lord in prayer and in scripture lord i pray that that they earnestly give their heart over and they give the situation over to you lord that they, that they throw it out of their own hands lord and that they trust trust in your name for the result they are after lord it is not your will for us to be anxious lord it's not your will for us to live in fear lord fear is a liar fear is a cheater fear is something we create ourselves lord and i pray that this person watching now gets truly delivered only by your name jesus and not of their own not of their own strength because there is no such thing that is my prayer now in the name of jesus christ lord amen go now give your heart to jesus christ give your love to jesus christ give your time to jesus christ and you will live a life in abundance. Amen.